welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look that I'm wearing and this is my very first tutorial I've ever done on my channel. This is only my third video and I was really nervous but I actually really like the look that I came up with. So if you want to see how to get this look just please keep watching. Okay so first off I'm gonna start right here with this shade Candied Peach and I'm gonna take this little IT Cosmetics blending brush and I'm just going to pop that shade right in my crease okay and then I'm going to continue with the same brush and just take this lighter shade right here called Georgia and blend it out with that I don't think that you can tell on the camera, but in person it just helped give that a more blown out look. It doesn't look like it on camera though. And then I'm going to go back into that shade Candied Peach and take the same brush and just wrap it under the eye. And I'm not going to take Georgia underneath and blend that out because I want the underneath to stay looking more warm toned than the top. Now taking this long crease brush by Royal and Lang Nickel right into this shade called Summer Yum. Apply that right here on the outer edge. And then after I've blended that color out on the side, I'm just going to slowly drag it up into the crease just a tiny bit. This crease brush has a point to the tip of it a little bit so that it's easier to get right into the hollow of that socket. And then that just smokes out the crease a little bit while still leaving that warm peachy tone in above it. Now I am going to dip this pencil brush, also from Royal and Lang Nickel, into this shade right here called Caramelized. And it is not matte, but I am going to put it on the lower lash line just on the outer edge. Okay, so I just did that so that it took a little bit of the warmth away from the outer edge so that our eyes don't look so sick. If you leave it just peachy like that, it tends to look a little bit like you're sick. So you can just take a little bit of a dark color right there on the outer edge or even just blend it all the way across the lash line and it will take care of that. On this flat shader brush, this is also from Royal and Lang Nickel. I'm going to take it into the golden shade called Nectar and just apply that right to the center. This shadow is the most pigmented of the whole palette. It definitely is. It gives off way more pigment than any of the other shadows. So if you go into using this shade after you've already used others, just expect it to be a bit more pigmented. Now I'm just going to finish off the eyeshadow with this same long crease brush and dip it back into this darker shade Summer Yum and pop that on the inner corners. I usually always do that because I like the the halo look. Okay and now on this shorter pencil brush I have no idea what brand it is from but just on this pencil brush, I'm going to take that into this shade Peaches and Cream right on the brow bone. Okay, 
That shade right there is actually one of the more pigmented ones too. I'm going to take it into this top shade called White Peach, and it's more of a pure white color. White Peach is what it's called. Okay, now I'm going to put on some mascara, but first I'm going to start by curling my lashes. So the mascara combo that I'm going to be using is this Blink Mascara Primer and this Too Faced Lashgasm Mascara. I did a review on that Lashgasm Mascara and I really hated it. I did not like it at all, but with this lash primer it actually turns out alright. Okay, now of course you can just leave it just like this, but I am going to apply some false lashes just because I felt like this look needed a bit more drama. And the lashes that I'm going to use are the Kiss Lashes in the style Camellias. I think that's what they're called. It says it right here, so I'm not really sure. I've never used this brand before. Now to finish off this look, I'm going to be putting on an Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Pasadena. And that completes this look. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.